Good morning, Brian with Grand Roofing. Doing a quick roof inspection for an estimate here shortly. And I want to get your guys' opinion. Bring you along and let you see this. It's open for open discussion down below. Comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. So this is a, it's not a flat roof, but it's pretty flat. It's a commercial job. And in my years past, we typically just do rubber. EPDM, figure it, wham, bam, put it on. But this one has some potential issues, I think. And then I was also asked about possibly a roof coating over it. I'm a fan of some of the silicone roof coatings like Gacko or Karnak or Gaco, whatever you want to call them. But my concern is with that is, is the, the roof system you're putting it down on. If it's not solid, if it's not secured, it's going to open up some potential for some issues to develop prematurely. And we'll go over this roof, we'll walk it over, primarily with this parapet, or this not parapet wall, this wall back here. It's seen some better days and it's got some issues. And the parapet wall over here, we'll walk around, just do a quick inspection of the roof. I've never done TPO, that's what the neighboring property is. I've never done modified torch down. We've removed them, never installed them. And I'm not a fan of just like roll roofing. I don't think they last near as long as they should. I'm not about to put it in very expensive roof system on when I probably would do another option. I wouldn't use it on my building. But with that being said, rubber. I can't get rubber materials. I can get some of the rubber. I just can't get the blackboard, the uh, ISO board to put it down on. You don't put that stuff down on the, just the decking. It's gonna have some nails and sharp edges poke through. So there's a layer you're supposed to put down to smooth the surface, prep the surface to give you a good gluing, bonding, adhesive uh, surface to put the rubber down. So let's just start with this wall behind me here. And like I said, weigh in, let me know down below. Let me know your thoughts. So looking at this wall right here, it's the neighboring property. It's not on the owner for this roof here I'm looking for an estimate on. But I see some issues with this. Like these windows, I mean, how are you supposed to terminate the new roof system when you've got windows that are boxed in like this that are obviously old and deteriorating? I mean, you, I don't see any good way of making this not leak. There's no overhang to prevent it. You've got mortar and stuff that's kind of starting to wear out. Even just water penetrating into this and seeping into it over time is going to get down in here. The guy stated he does have some leaks down this eastern wall. Well, you've got a ton of weather that moves in from the southwest direction here, blowing this way. With no overhang, I guarantee you this is getting plastered with weather that's just dripping down. Sorry, I'm going to cancel these notifications here. There's like this foamy stuff that was sprayed on at some point. Then there's a, a coating of something on top of there. I don't know what this stuff is, but I don't see that being very good down here at this parapet wall and this riser definitely some gaping holes just invitating water it's an invitation for water to come in more spray foam i mean anytime we've ever done a roof system where we're putting rubber down it's going up the parapet wall you remove the caps you go over the top a little bit put your caps back down maybe replace the caps or all the way over the edge if you got a good surface to pin it with turn bar or something batten bar I mean, I don't know what you got going on here. You got an area water's going to run into this. This is just not good. By the way, be careful, especially for that big fat guy. Boom. Knock you out real quick or worse. You got areas in the decking under the modified that somebody had simply put a sheet of wood down. You can see it's a four of eight sheet of wood, probably covering a rotten spot or a hole or I don't know. And then they just simply rolled the modified over it. The reason I don't think putting a silicone coating on top, several reasons, if you look at the condition of this, I mean, it could be addressed, but you're talking a lot of time and labor. You can't just coat this because then this will come off and your roof that it is, you know, you're putting down stuck to this, it's just gonna not be good. So you'd have to seriously clean and prep and pressure wash, possibly use a chemical cleaner to clean it, to get it ready to take the new roof coating. You've got areas where there's big wrinkles like this right here. It's not even stuck down. Granted, this is pretty, rigid stuff even though it's not bonded over time with it blowing around and moving around it's going to cause some premature failure of the roof coating you're putting on which it's not going to be cheap looking down over the edge here i don't know how many layers of roofing this currently has let me see if i can see under that big gap right here it's pretty raised up i might be able to see under here it's kind of loose too I don't know if I can even see in there. It's hard to see for me. I need to do this without a uh, phone in my hand and try to reach in there and see because if it's more than one layer, you really don't, if it's more than two, if it's currently two layer, you don't want to do any more. I'd like to know what's down under this if it's multiple layers. My opinion, this needs to be stripped. And then you got the question of what do you do here? What do you do over there? Grab my headset so I don't forget it. Let's look at this over here.
Yeah, you can't just simply come in here and coat that. You got TPO on the other neighboring side to the west, and it's just laying up here. This whole thing is loose. I mean, this stuff blows in the wind. There's an area where the bar up ways up there is just flapping, you know. So you got to terminate it somewhere good, and you got to lap it the right way so any water up here is not going to run down. It's just a lot of work involved in this. If you can get the material of choice. Typically, we would strip all this down, put down some ISO board, and put down the new rubber. I can't get some of the material. I've checked with a handful of suppliers. We did a job last fall, needed some rubber, couldn't find it, had to drive forever, made many phone calls to get the ISO board to do the job. Luckily, we were. At the time, they told me they weren't expecting any more shipments of ISO or Blackboard until mid uh, this year. Well, that was last October. Now I'm trying to find out and checking with suppliers, and they're saying, oh, we can't get it until 2023 sometime. I don't want to bid it and hope that I can get the material then, and even worse, what's the price going to be at that point? while putting these people through the ringer, making them wait, and prices just ever constantly going up. Every week I'm hearing something, nails, material, steel, petroleum, gas, diesel, that, it's just ridiculous. You got a handful of these, I don't even know. I think these are some sort of a vent cap. It's got a gap in here probably for something to vent, so that looks like a soil vent pipe drain for a sewer. I imagine it's probably something similar. It's had like a Alumacoat coating on here at some point. Here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of those. There's that, and you got two vent pipes. I don't know if they're even being used. I'll have to go into the attic area, that's next. Check out the inside. And another big patch of a sheet and a half of wood. So what's your thoughts? What material would you use? How do you guarantee you're not gonna have any callbacks and issues? I mean, there's areas where water just running down. It's not a ton, but as water runs down and rains all day getting into these areas, look at this here. I don't know what they got going on behind any of this. Those are too short, they're only an inch long. They're not even gonna bust through all the old layers into the parapet wall and hold it. That's why it's pulling out. So, yeah, you got some options on that. That's not bad. It looks fairly secure and sturdy and vertical in the top. Put a drip cap on. So let me know, you know, your thoughts. I don't want to turn away work. I don't want to just give it away, but I don't want to quote something that I can't get. Draw it out for the homeowner or the property owner here. I don't see this being feasible to even recommend some sort of structural change to give it a pitch slope for steel. I mean, you could probably do steel on this, but then how do you terminate it to the walls? And again, I wish this was a simple, easy, this is what I recommend, this is what we're going to do. If you like it, let's use it, let's do it. I don't know. Let me know, let me know what your thoughts are on this one. I know there's some of you guys out there that follow the channel that probably have more experience in the commercial side of things or different materials to use. got quite a bit of mortar joints just gathering around from somewhere out here so you know you can't you can't bond something to that brick wall let's go back and look at that this is really one of my biggest concerns down this wall he's got leaking going on I've seen leaks because of very porous broken up areas in the mortar and rain just seeping into it and running down how do you address it Typically when the brick is in a good condition, we would come up with the rubber, bring it up high enough, put a turn bar in and silicone the turn bar. But I don't, I don't know. So do me a favor, comment down below. Let me know what you would recommend. Maybe there's some magical material out there I don't know of and you're about to tell me. I'm gonna be super happy and thank the, thank you for it. But I'm not the guy that's just going to put a coating over this and say, you're good, and then it's going to come back to haunt me or them or ruin a reputation. So let me know. I did shoot a video, I think it was Thursday or Friday, of a job out in the county somewhere where whoever did the roof did a horrible job. It wasn't by that owner's choice. It was in a real estate transaction or something, and the seller ended up having this company do it, which has since, I believe, gone out of business and ripped a few people off, made a bad reputation for himself, and just doesn't even care. But the problem they did is they roofed over some really bad cracked spaced gapped one by his nails hitting in between not holding the shingles down ripping up in the wind i'll leave a link to it if you want to check it out shorter video than this 
uh, I don't want to be that guy. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Appreciate you watching this far. Until next time, be safe, and we'll see you on the next one.